Hey, welcome back for another video. Jonar Tools sent me another tool to unbox and show you guys. The Cable Mapper Pro. I had a look at this on their website because I find it a nice little tool that would fit in your handyman's tool bag. They reached out to me after doing the other video and said, hey, do you want another, do another tool to review? I said, sure, why don't you send me this? So let's unbox this and have a look at it. On the box here, it says Jonar Tools Cable Mapper Pro tests VDV cables for faults, identities, and up to eight coax network uh, cables, main cable boxes. Uh, inside the box, it includes cable mapper with remote, eight coax and eight network identifiers, telephone and coax and network cable patch cords, rugged nylon case, instruction manuals, and two AA batteries. I already put the batteries in the tool to make sure that the tool worked and uh, see what it was like. But let's have a look. They were right. It comes with a really nice case, really uh, good feeling to it. Inside, we have a bunch of cables. So we have a RJ11 cable, another RJ11 cable. Actually, I think this is, yeah, two RJ11 cables and two RJ45 cables and a little mini coax adapter cable here. The unit itself, but we'll go over that in a second. So we have a tool to test uh, RJ45 and RJ11. Let's see if these plug in here. Yep. This tool is needed to pass a cable on the other end. So you would plug in this cable into this and try it. We'll do that in a second. So you have to have this device. The nice thing about this kit is it comes with these identifiers. So we have eight identifiers for RJ45, and then we have eight coax identifiers. So let's see here, we got this one, and it says number one on it. Hopefully you can see that right there. And then we have this one that has the number one on it too. Okay, they also come with a nice little manual. There's no batteries in here because the batteries are in here. Okay, nice, easy to read and understand manual, right? Shows you all the features of the unit. Yep, some color in there too, so it's not just black and white. Awesome, awesome. Um, my unit didn't come with the um, toner, the amplifier probe. You can get one later on, purchase it um, uh, separately, and it will work with this unit. Pretty easy. Okay, I like the case because everything does fit in there. So let's try one of these. Let's put this over here and we'll try a cable here. So, so we'll turn it on. It's got a very nice, easy to read screen. It's backlit. Okay, we're gonna try one of these um, identifiers. So if we put this in here, put it in there, it comes up with ID1 on the screen. Sorry, there's gonna be glare there, but that's as best as I can do. ID1 is plugged in there. If we take this one out and we put in a different one, let's just put a random one in there. We'll put seven in here and watch it. See, it should come up. There it is. So you can use these. These work really well for testing ports and stuff like that. And to do a cable test, we would use one of their provided cables or your own. And we would put this guy on here. Plug this in, let's do a test. Pass. There we go. It shows us all the ports from one to eight working. Now, if we wanted to do an RJ11, which is a phone cable, take this out, put this into the RJ11 end down here, plug it into the RJ11 side here. Now we have to change this because it's failing right now because it's stuck on data. So we just need to put it into voice. We push voice and then it says, pass. Can you guys see that pass right there up here pass by using the um, identifier tool. Okay, coax. Uh, let's see if we could put a coax guy on there. We'll put 
number one on here. So what we have to do again is go to uh, video. It says fail because it's open because there's not, nothing on there. We put this on here. It says number one. Cool. Nice little unit. Very, it's got really good feel on the outside. So when you're holding on to it, if you have work gloves or anything like that on there, should be really, really good. Nice little unit. It's got a really nice feel to it. It's really nice and small and compact. Um, that'd be good for the quick little toolkit if you want to check coax cables and ethernet cables and uh, phone line jacks. Pretty basic, but it does a really, really good job. I, I like this tool. Pretty uh, fancy. If you forget to turn it off, it'll auto turn off in 30 minutes. I should know this because I read the manual. It takes two easy batteries in the back here and they're supplied, yes. Recommended for sure. Put it in your nice little toolkit. So that's my video. Uh, if you have any questions about this guy, let me know. But uh, good job for Jonar Tools for making this little guy. It's pretty handy. Cool.